Hey, it's Hayden D from mybottleshop.com.au. Back with Rock. We're going to do a quick video today about the Nelson's Greenbrier Distillery. That's right. We're just um, here in what they call Printer's Alley. Uh, that's our hotel there, 21C uh, Museum Hotel, lovely hotel um, in uh, Nashville. Uh, apparently, the store is it's renowned for um, printing, printing, which we didn't know. Printing so, presses, you know, yeah. all these printers and speakeasies used to be uh, along this alleyway, which is why we're here. Um, That's right. Well, first things first, I need to apologize to uh, Joel uh, from the Green Bride Distillery. I actually didn't have the microphone on when we were filming the other day, so that's a little bit devastating, but... <laughs> yeah, it looks great, man. It looks yeah, great. It, it looks great, but just no sound. Sorry, Joel. But we're making up to you now and doing um, a quick review. So the two bourbons we've got um, here, Hados, is in my hands, I've got the Belmead bourbon. Um, it's aged six to eight years. Now the story with this one, Hados, is it is actually a sourced whiskey, and the, the guys at Greenbrier are very honest about that. Um, while they basically resurrected the brand um, from 150 years ago, so it's like an age-old brand, um, but it's only been recently resurrected by uh, great, the Nelson Brothers. Yeah, great, so, great, great, yeah, great, grand, great, grand, grandchildren. Grandchildren, yeah. So until they, so they've got the brand going. In between, they've got this MGP whiskey. And uh, some of you will know MGP is quite a famous uh, distillery. They produce lots of different brands. It's got, um, um, I guess you could say high rate content, right? Yep. Right. And what about the one you've got in your hands there? So hey, what I've got like here is the Nelson's first 108. Um, so this is kind of, they, they reverse engineered the, the mash bill um, by going through the records and seeing how much of which grain they, they, they purchased from the suppliers and they've recreated the original mash bill for this whiskey. Uh, this is the first 108 barrels that they've produced mm. um, and it's to commemorate the commemorate the 108th anniversary of the distillery yep. um, of the brand. Um, so these are, these, these are in small 30 gallon barrels. Um, so it's only aged for a couple of years. Um, this is their, their new product and this is gonna be it's going to be their flagship product. That's right. One one funny thing that I must say we, when we did the tour, um, you'll see on the bottle here. There's a couple of uh, uh, horses there, right? And the one on this side, they call him Patrick Swayze, <laughs> and he's got the big because of the big mane. On the, the big mane of hair, right? Right. And originally, uh, on the original label from a hundred years ago, they had the two horses' names on there, which are now missing from the bottle uh, because one of the horses' name was Brown Dick. <laughs> <laughs> and for some reason they thought that wasn't a good idea to have in their liquor bottle. I thought yeah. that would have been pretty funny and pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, um, but funny. look, great. this is a great whiskey, this MGP. We didn't actually, did we actually try that we one? Didn't try one? We didn't try this one. We didn't try that one. Yeah. Um, it's, it's sold in very small quantities and small little bottles, uh, nearly finished. So, uh, But look, it's one to keep out for the future, keep an eye out for the future. Yeah. Hey, that's what we reckon. Yeah, that's right. Back in the day it was one of the biggest distilleries. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got the hat on there. I've got the hat. Thanks, Joel, again <laughs> for that one, <laughs> for the call out in the hat. Good. Alright guys, well thanks for watching. Keep an eye out for any new videos and don't forget to subscribe. Cheers. Cheers.